Hey guys, today we're gonna wash the Steelcraft Agile Elite. I will be doing a review on it a little bit later on, but first let's just wash it today. They do have these nice textiles on them, but I can see how this color, if it didn't have a pram liner in it, would really get dirty. This one's pretty clean, which is nice. So I think it was definitely covered with a pram liner or something, or maybe not used too much. Let's start with removing the hood. Either side, you have these little clips and they will push in and then you will be able to release the hood. Along the sides, we have Velcro. going to come to the back and unzip this little panel here and that unvelcros from the sides. And then to finish getting the hood off we have our velcro straps which are then a snap on the side. So they snap off and a snap off on this side and there's your hood removed. We will come back with a screwdriver later to undo the two little screws in here. There's one here and there should be one on the other side. One here. Now we can start taking off the seat. So we'll start taking these snaps off. Three on each side. That releases the back bit. We have these two snaps, but they have a piece of strap attached and velcro. So you can hear the velcro and then it's looped through this piece. So we're gonna undo that and then unsnap those pieces. We have two snaps in here. One and two, just like that. We have another one of those little straps down here. This one's a little bit tricky because it has this uh, plastic buckle that has to be like threaded through it. Getting this buckle through kind of just takes a little bit of strategy. Uh, line it up and uh, you have to push the plastic through more of the uh, narrow side first. So we're just turning it around to the back. We have another one of these velcro straps. Again, thread through here and here. One of these things again. All right, hopefully that was easy to see. That is the folding mechanism. I forget how to take that off. All right, now we're going to slide this fabric through here, which is gonna be a pain of a job. Should be loose and it should slide off there there we go this has really changed since the last time that i washed one of these because last time i washed one of these it was a just an agile um it was an agile plus actually that i washed and i'm pretty sure that the backboard comes out of it whereas this one doesn't and the bottom board doesn't come out either either I don't know. I'll put that in the wash as it is on a gentle cycle. I will undo this harness so that it all can be free and all the buckles can get washed. So four snaps across the back. 
two snaps at the front on the side. And it looks like a zip on There we go. I'm gonna give that a shake before it goes into the washing machine. All right, remember those pesky little screws? So one on this side and then one on this side. Undo those with a screwdriver, Phillips head. Now that we have unscrewed the two screws, we're gonna put them somewhere safe. And we're going to just pop those. Okay, well you saw how easy that popped off. Pop that off and then just slide your fabric off. So close the hood and then just slide it off if it wants to go anywhere. So this bit doesn't go in the wash. And this bit stays here. I like to keep this side of the hood together so that I know which way it goes. Um, and we'll put these two little screws up here, nice and safe. Now we're gonna put all of this in the wash on a gentle or a hand wash cycle. Don't forget to take uh, the basket and stuff out and shake all the crumbs out of it outside. And with the seat, push the seat in the wrong way. So that's what I mean by the wrong way. And get all the crumbs that are in the crevice. If there's lots and lots in there, get a brush. If not, wipe them out with your fingers if they will. Straps are already almost coming off. <laughs> Alright, so you just get all in those little crevices with a brush or with whatever or a good shake to get rid of all of that. Once it is finished washing, hang it out on the clothesline to dry or you could just put it straight on. So that is how to wash the Silcraft Agile Elite. When I put it back together, there was a few things to note. So when I put the hood on, the one on the inside, the hood rod on the inside goes in the front. I definitely got that wrong and you will see that it's wrong because it like dips in here. It pulls the fabric in. Uh, there's a few, oops, this Velcro has come off. That's okay. Uh, there's a few of these straps under here. So there's one here and then a second one here and a third one here. Make sure that you attach this, uh, whatever this webbing strap is, back to this um, ring because that is the fold mechanism. Let's just check the fold mechanism now. So we're going to press this button. Here is the fold strap pull it. All right, so I know that I assembled that properly again. It was already pretty clean, but it came up really nice. 
Uh, I did wipe the wheels um, because it's going to stay inside for quite some time. I will do a review on this pram as well. You can add a capsule to it, but I won't be doing a review with the capsule. I'm going to kind of use it as a quick stroller uh, that can kind of be banged around, although I don't want it to be banged around. This is the only scratch we've got on it so far. And I think my mum did that when she unfolded it. But she said, oh, I don't know if I did that scratch, but I probably didn't. So we're gonna say that she didn't. If you wanna watch any other videos or pram uh, reviews or other strollers or prams had to be washed, I do quite a few of those on my channel. So don't forget to subscribe and or like this video if it helped you.